Today we're going to do a 30 minute full body kettlebell workout for strength and power. You can do this as a follow along with me using just one kettlebell. I'm going to be using 16 kilos, that's about 35 pounds, but use whatever is right for you. First up though, we're going to kick off this workout with a brief body weight warm up. This warm up consists of four exercises, 30 seconds each, linking one straight into the other for two rounds. We're going to learn the difference between a hip hinge and a squat to help you out with that kettlebell technique. But we're going to start off with a good morning. So if you start with your hands behind your ears, nice open chest position, and we're going to work on that hinge. So push the hips back, feel the hamstrings stretch, scoot through and back up. Although you can soften the knees, we want you to keep relatively straight legs for this. We're going to focus on the hip hinge keeping some upper back tension, making sure we're not rounding. And this is really gonna help you out with that kettlebell swing technique, which should be more of a hinge than it is a squat. Now we're gonna work on that squat, so feet a little bit wider. We're gonna squat down. You might want your feet turned out slightly for your squat. You don't need them turned out as much for the hinge. So it's more of an up and down action. There's still a slight hinge to the hips, but you're focusing on sitting your hips down between your heels with a much bigger knee bend as you come down. Let's get the shoulders warm, circling the arms forwards. and change direction. Next, we're gonna mobilize the upper back with a standing cat cow stretch. So, hands behind your ears again, but you're gonna close off, round, drop your chin, open out. You're gonna close off the elbows, round your back, drop your chin. Rise the gaze up slightly, open the chest out. Spread those shoulder blades, and then pull the shoulder blades together. All right, back into that good morning. So hinge at the hip, screw it in through. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards, and that's gonna help fold your body in half. We want almost straight legs, maybe just unlocked at the knee. Okay, now we're gonna go into those squats. So you're gonna squat down, back up. If you find it more comfortable, you can have your hands out front. They don't have to be behind your ears. You're feeling those posture muscles burning. So nice big knee bend. Knees pushed, pushed out to match your toe angle. So don't let your knees collapse inside of your toes. You want them out to match. Arms circling forwards. And backwards. Nice big circles, maximizing the range of motion in your shoulders. Okay, let's go for that standing cat cow. So we're gonna close and open it out. Rounding the upper back and then opening it out. You can drop your chin and then rising your gaze up slightly. Really spread those shoulder blades when you're closing down. All right, we're gonna go into the first strength section. Grab your kettlebell. You're gonna to need to be able to do alternating single arm swings. We're gonna be doing 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest four exercises for three rounds. 
Uh, we'll keep doing that and then we'll have a half time break, let you get some water and then we'll repeat the same format but with four new exercises in the second strength section. So if you grab that kettlebell, starting off with those single arm swings, we're going to alternate arms and you should be alternating arms at peak height with the kettlebell which will be about collarbone height on these. I like to have my hand just slightly over to one side of the handle, allowing a little bit of room for that switch of hand. Keep the kettlebell swinging nice and close to your body. Shouldn't be looping down near the floor. It should be swinging under nice and tight up near your hips. Slight bend in the legs as you hinge but mostly it's more of a hinge action. Great job, okay. Next up we're gonna do an offset squat. So we're gonna have the kettlebell offset to one side. We're gonna do 20 seconds of squats and then we're gonna do straight into 20 seconds of the kettlebell offset on the other side. So we're squatting down and although the weight is offset to this side. I'm trying not to let that kettlebell pull my body out of symmetry. So my knees should look symmetrical. Okay, let's switch sides. Straight into the other side. Again, shoulders, chest, knees, hips, trying not to be skewed off center. Nice little core strength challenge for this side of the body. Let's finish off your rep. Okay, next we're gonna go for some overhead swings. So we don't need to swing to 100% up, but we want about 90%, making sure the kettlebell doesn't go over the top. So you're gonna need a little bit more power to get that kettlebell up. Make sure you're not overarching your lower back at the top. Lock those glutes in, tuck those ribs down. All right, on to more of an isolation exercise. I'm gonna do a kettlebell curl. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell around the sides, locking your elbows for a nice strict bicep curl. Great job, quick 30 second rest now. So there's one round done, two to go before we change up the exercises. So get yourself ready to go. We're gonna start back with those single arm swings to around collarbone height. I want you to start off almost in this long triangle shape. You have one hand on the kettlebell, tilt it off axis, drop the hips down and you're ready to go.
getting ready for those offset squats. Making sure that offset weight doesn't pull you off to the side. Quick switch. Get ready for those overhead swings. Isolating the biceps next with that kettlebell curl. Well done, two down, one to go, and then we'll be changing up the exercises. Onto the offset squats next.
All right, take one minute off. We're gonna be doing the same format for the next section. If you want to take your training to a new level, consider joining my TPT virtual studio. This members area gives you exclusive access to an extensive follow along video library not available on YouTube. It also includes written workout plans you can do at your own pace, taking the guesswork out of training and optimizing your results. Learn to fuel your body for success with nutrition resources from meal plans to dietary strategies that work. Save yourself from expensive gym memberships, long travel times and average results by joining the virtual studio. To check it out, follow the link in this video's description after your workout. We'll be starting this round with some classic swings, so double arm swings, collarbone height. Want to get the heart rate up there, and now we're going to move on to more of a strength exercise. So, I'm going to do a kettlebell push press 20 seconds on one side and then straight into 20 seconds on the other side. If you want to strict press it, you can. So, the push press has a little bend in the knees, you're going to drive it up overhead. And switch. Next, we're going to be practicing a kettlebell skill, doing some cleans. You want to make sure your elbow is rolling from outside to the inside of the kettlebell to avoid it bashing onto your wrist. You're going to alternate sides. So clean and then back down, switch sides. So you're rotating your elbow from a high position down and inside. almost rolling around the kettlebell. The power should come from the hips, so drop the hips, drive through the legs. Onto a little ab exercise, just body weight. You're gonna lie on your back. You're gonna do some leg raises. Head can be on or off the mat. I actually prefer off the mat. You wanna have a slight bend in the legs. You know, leg raise up and then lower down. You wanna come up until your tailbone just lifts off the mat and then lower down as far as you can get without your lower back losing contact with the mat. If you're struggling, try bending your legs a little bit more. And if you're finding it easy, try straightening your legs a little bit more. But try and fix that knee angle in whichever angle you're using. Great job. So there's round one done. Two more rounds of those four exercises and then that'll be the workout complete.
So try not to over arch your back at the top. Your body and your hips shouldn't go past vertical. So you shouldn't be leaning back at the top. And obviously when you hinge and swing under, we're trying not to round the upper or lower back. Get ready for that push press, 20 seconds per side. Straighten to the other side. <laughs> Onto those kettlebell cleans, trying to minimize that impact of the kettlebell on the forearm by driving the elbow up and then rotating round and inside of the kettlebell, alternating sides. Make sure you're bending those knees before you start. to the leg raises. I like to put these in. I find my back feels a lot better if I'm working my lower back, if I throw some anterior exercises mixed in as supersets. It stops one area tightening up if we pair it by working the other side of the body. So kettlebells can be quite dominant on the lower back glutes and hamstrings and that's great but it's good to mix that in with some ab and hip flexor work like we are now just make sure you're not arching off the mat when we're in this bottom position i like my head off the floor because i find i can engage my abs but i realize a lot of people get a tired neck muscle so feel free to put your head down all right we're doing great we've got one round to go in a nice sweaty mix of cardio and strength today. We're gonna go for these swings.
onto those clean snacks, alternating sides, working on that smooth rotation. Onto the last exercise of the whole workout with these leg raises, technique tips, whatever leg angle you've picked, whether it's straight or bent, keep that knee angle fixed. Don't arch your lower back off the mat. Make sure you're putting as much effort into the lowering phase, controlling that, as you are the upward phase. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you following along from? I really do love to hear that. Here's a quick cool down stretch that you can get involved with right now to help you loosen up after that workout. Make sure you check out my kettlebells playlist for more workouts like this. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon for another workout.